Hi, this is uh, Jim from www.cablesupply.com and today I'm going to demonstrate how to punch down a Category 6 computer cable onto a Category 6 a computer jack. And the first thing you want to do is you want to strip the wire back about an inch or so to start out with. You're going to cut that off eventually anyway. So you just want to get that shielding the outer case off. And there's a little string in there. So what you do is you pull down the string about two inches, just like that. You peel back. You trim off the outer shield. Now, I'm also going to cut off top part of the cable. And the reason I've done that is when I was cutting the, the shielding, I probably nicked the cable and I don't want any nicked cables because they tend to break as you're punching down. And they are, tend to give you problems. This is just a separator inside the cable for Category 6. Here's your colors. Um, your blue cable is cable number one. Orange is cable number two. Uh, Green is three, and brown uh, is four. Um, and what you want to do is you want to minimally uh, untwist these. You want to keep the twist in there as much as possible when you're doing a Category 6 cab cable to jack. And uh, it's useless to do a, use a, uh, pay the extra money and get Category 6 cable and attach it to a 5E jack. Cause uh, it always is going to go to the lowest uh, certification. So you want to use CAT6 cable, CAT6 jack, CAT6 patch panel. Now on the side of the jack it gives you the color code. And um, on the color code it's a, uh, a 5, 568A or B. And um, what I found out is 568A is basically used by the government. 568B is, in my experience, is, is usually commercial. It doesn't really matter as long as you punch down um, the same at the jack as you do the patch panel. So you can punch down A at the jack and uh, A at the patch panel or B at the jack and B at the patch panel. You do not want to uh, punch down A at the jack and B at the patch panel. It will not work. But they're both they both they both are the same, so it, it really doesn't matter which one you use. Some people have a preference. Uh, generally, for us as a cabling company um, at, at Nova Voice and Data, we usually punch down everything as a B. So first thing you do is you take your cable and you match the B uh, standards here. So uh, here it's going to be uh, orange and white. So I want to undo a little bit there. And I'm going to take it. I'm going to push it down. And then here's my green. And it will actually stay there. As you see, you got the, the orange there and the green there. And it will stay in place pretty much until you're ready to punch down. And the more you do with these, the faster you get. You get them all pushed down. Two types of punch down. Today I'm going to use my punch down, which is uh, the professional type punch down. It really works well. It's a uh, Harris um, Dracon punch down. I've used this model for years. And I have a 110 blade in there. Uh, and the 110 blade has a sharp edge on one side and the way that goes in it will say cut so I want to use that on the outside of the 110 so I'm going to be pushing down and you'll hear it snap 
and that pushes the cable into the slot and cuts off the excess. There's a complete punch down of the jack. You notice the twist is in there as tight as I could get it. Um, it's completely uh, punched down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the Keystone faceplate. On these faceplates, I don't know if you can view that, but there actually says up on uh, um, jacks. You always want to put the, the eight conductors or the conductors in their eight positions. You want to keep them up uh, so dust doesn't settle on them after sitting in the wall for years. So you start at the bottom and it snaps in. Gives you a nice clean appearance. It will not come out. The way to get them out of course is with a screwdriver and then it, that goes on the wall. Put your labels right there and as long as you've pinned it out right and you're either 100 meters or less on the length of the cable back to the patch panel and the patch panel has been pinned out right and it's a CAT6, it will certify. Um, you can test it and everything else. We test all our cables when we install them but 99% uh, of the time when there's a problem it's someone has missed punch down uh, one of the pins. It's not the uh, it's not the uh, equipment itself. Okay. Again, my name is Jim from cablesupply.com. Thank you.